For my technical effects final project, I have chosen a bridge collapse simulation. This allows me to try a more advanced setup and create something that combines rigid body dynamics, fractured destruction, and fluid simulation all in one. As my back plate, I decided to use area around my hometown. There is a long bridge coming across a lake towards the town center, and after testing a couple of spot positions, I found one which would perfectly show off the whole bridge collapsing while keeping it large enough to be able to see the details. For references, I mostly use videos from YouTube, either of real-life bridge collapses or simulated artifacts made for TV. Based on these references, I created the initial order of action for the collapse. One of the middle pillars would start breaking off, followed by the top of the bridge. As the bridge is strongly held together, it would kind of slide off the other supporting pillars, creating this uh, impressive bending effect, at least in my mind. I started with a very simple bridge and pillar geometry, which I fractured and filled with different glue constraints and soft constraints. I used animated spheres to control which pieces start breaking and when, as well as an animated guided geo to artistically direct the simulation. After I had my base simulation finished, I needed for all the small objects, like fences, pipes, and street lamps, to follow RBD simulations. For each of those, I achieved this in one of two ways. The first method was creating a new DOP network with the base bridge as a static deforming object and the small geo attached to it with glue or soft constraints. The second method was using a special node which I created this node takes in an object and finds the closest piece on the bridge geometry, and then it assigns this piece to the object. Afterwards, using the deformed pieces node, the input geometry seamlessly follows the bridge deformation. I used the same process to convert the bridge from low poly to high poly using models I created in Blender. The next step was the flip simulation, which is made of a flat tank and the base bridge geometry, which was imported as a VDB collision object. After caching the flip simulation, I also created the white border as a final touch. I use native Houdini shaders for everything in the scene besides bridge textures, which I projected onto the geo and polished in Substance Painter. I rendered everything using Mantra and finished the final compositing in Nuke. As a self-critique, the bridge destruction is very basic. It doesn't have any additional small edge details or dust particles. And uh, the white border is also very low quality. And I had to manually go in and change a lot of the final parameters just to make it look semi-realistic from afar. Uh, so there is definitely a lot of work that could be done to make it look more realistic. But overall, I am happy with the outcome of the project and I think it provides an adequate visual result.